Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Thank you for joining us today. It is deeply appreciated. In today's video we are going to discuss 23 projects for preppers to do around the house. And yes, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if I give you value in today's video. I would be thankful. And feel free to share the video on your social media networks as well. That helps the channel out a ton and gets the message about prepping out further. While others may use the longer daylight hours and warmer temperatures of summer to kick back and relax, you are a doer, as are most preppers and homesteaders. So what's on your to-do list? It's time to tackle that list one project at a time. Here are some suggestions for DIY projects that will improve your emergency preparedness and save you time and money in the long run. And let us know in the comment section below if there are other projects we should consider. 1. Build food storage shelves Are you running out of room in your pantry or stockpile area? Shelf space in a spare closet and under the bed can only go so far. Maybe it's time to build your own shelving. 2. Install a rainwater collection system. Rainwater harvesting is a simple and sustainable way to protect the planet's natural resources and delicate ecosystems. The non-potable water can be used to irrigate landscaping, flush toilets, wash cars, or launder clothes, and it can even be purified for human consumption. 3. Build a chicken coop. Are you new to chicken raising? or do you want to provide your birds with some new digs? Some coops cost a lot of scratch, but here is a home-built chicken coop you can create in one hour for less than $50. 4. Reinforce doors and windows. You can increase your security and your peace of mind by reinforcing your doors and windows. Prevent break-ins by upgrading and strengthening your deadbolt and lock set. Learn how to install a grade 1 deadbolt, how to install a 4-screw strike plate box, and how to beef up the lock set strike plate to protect your home. Five. Install a backup power source. You can keep your household running during a power outage by installing a generator. Whether powered by a conventional internal combustion engine or renewable energy, a backup generator can eliminate the hardships associated with a short or long-term power outage. 6. Prepare an emergency medical kit. Certain items need to be in every first aid kit. Take the time to list and include remedies for your family's age range and health condition. Be sure to include standard over-the-counter medications and bandages as well as any herbal remedies you use. Pour favorite essential oils into travel size bottles. Then pack everything in a sturdy bag or backpack that you can take with you if the need arises. 7. Build a wood rocket heater. Rocket heaters or rocket stoves are useful for emergency cooking and water boiling and for producing heat in an emergency situation. A primary design of a rocket mass heater consists of an insulated combustion chamber where fuel is burned with high efficiency at high temperature, and a large thermal mass in contact with the exhaust gases, which absorbs most of the generated heat before the gases are released to the atmosphere. According to anecdotes a rocket mass heater might reduce fuel consumption by 80-90% to 90 compared to conventional stoves. 8. Construct a cold frame. Now is the time to plan ahead in order to protect your garden from frosty weather. You can extend your gardening season, and your harvest, by building a cold frame. Pallets work well for this weekend project. 9. Make a survival slingshot. This small but effective weapon can be used for self-defense or for hunting small game in a survival situation. 10. Harness solar energy. The sun's energy is there for the taking, but most people shy away from harnessing solar power because of the cost of commercial panels. Here are some steps you can take to build your own solar panels. Assess your energy needs, look at your current utility bill to determine how much electricity your home uses. Choose panels, crystalline modules are the most common type of solar panel. Make the backing board, you can use fiber board, plywood, thick card, or glass. Glass is the most weatherproof option. Purchase solar cells, buying a solar kit can save you money and reduce the time it takes to set up your installation. Seal the panel. Use silicon sealant or epoxy to seal the edges of the panels to prevent water from getting inside. Use an inverter. Inverters allow you to use electrical devices without adapters. 11. Build a greenhouse. Growing your own food is a huge part of the self-sufficient lifestyle. You can extend your growing season substantially with a greenhouse. 12. Make a water pump. Water is the key to survival. We can last for weeks without food but only days without water. Here are a few ideas for pumping water in an emergency situation. Here are some steps you can take to build a water pump. Determine the flow rate, this is the volume of fluid that passes through the pump in a unit of time. Determine the head, this includes the static head, friction head, and total head. Choose the type of pump, for example, 
you could use a centrifugal pump. Cast the housing, you can use a 1.5 inch PVC pipe. Forge the impeller and shaft, you can use a sheet metal that you trace and trim to size. Machine the bearings and seals, you can use tin snips or wire cutters. Assemble the components, this will ensure that they fit together properly and work as intended. 13. Prepare an emergency car bag. Each winter, we read about people stranded in their cars. We learn how they survive by eating snacks they have in their trunk and drinking melted snow. Whether there has been an accident or a road closure, surviving harsh weather in your car should not be left up to chance. Take the time now to prepare an emergency bag for all your vehicles. According to the National Safety Council, minimum supplies should include blankets, socks, mittens, and hats, snow brush and ice scraper, flashlight and extra batteries, first aid kit, road flares, bottled water, multi-tool, such as a Swiss army knife, non-perishable food. 14. Make fire bricks. Did you know you can turn your discarded newspapers, magazines, and cardboard into burnable bricks for your fireplace, wood stove, or fire pit? Newspaper fire bricks can be a good alternative to burning logs and coal. They can burn for as long as logs and can save you money. They are also carbon neutral and can provide a better burn time than a natural log. 15. Build a compost bin. You can turn your food scraps and yard waste into rich garden nutrients by composting. Here are some tips for composting. Start your compost pile on bare earth. Create a dry base. Add layers of green and brown material. Alternate moist and dry. Add manure, green manure, or any nitrogen source. Keep compost moist. Turn once a week or once every two weeks. Maintain a thermophilic pile by turning every three to four days. Place the composting pile on level, well-drained ground near a water source. 16. Build your own smokehouse. If you are raising your own livestock for meat or bartering for fresh meat, you may be looking for ways to make the most of your investment. One way is to smoke your meat. 17. Make your own survival bars. Survival bars are intended to provide a dense amount of calories and nutrients in an emergency. They have a long shelf life, or you can pack them in your bug-out bag. Here is how to make them 3 tablespoons water. 1 cup sugar. 3 tablespoons honey. 2 and a half cups of powdered milk. 2 cups oats. 9x13 pan. Parchment paper or foil. Mylar seal bag Ziploc would work fine as well, just won't last as long. 18. Dig a Dakota fire hole. A Dakota fire hole is a fire building method that creates very little smoke and emits low light and therefore can go undetected unless you get fairly close. The premise is that the fire pushes hot air through the top of the pit, creating suction and drawing more oxygen into the hole. This process increases the heat, so less firewood is needed than with a regular fire ring. Build the fire hole near a tree to help disperse smoke. Line the edges of the hole with rocks to support your pan slash pot. Your second hole should open to the wind. Dig a hole about one foot deep, with a diameter slightly smaller than your pan slash pot at the top, that then widens at the bottom. Dig a second hole, about eight inches in diameter, that tunnels diagonally to the bottom of your first hole. Use small twigs and pine cones as fuel. 19. Make a rescue belt paracord can be a lifesaver in an emergency situation. This project involves creating a rescue belt with paracord. 20. Build a rabbit hutch. You can create a home and exercise space for your bunnies with wood pallets and other supplies you may have on hand. Building a rabbit hutch from pallets is a great way to save money and upcycle materials. It's a relatively easy project, even for beginners. Here is the process. Disassemble the pallets, remove the boards from the pallets carefully, trying not to damage the wood. Build the frame, decide on the size of your hutch and build the frame using the pallet boards. Attach the wire mesh. Cut the wire mesh to size and attach it to the frame using staples or nails. Add the floor, you can use plywood or hardware cloth for the floor. Create the door, cut a door opening in one of the walls and frame it out with pallet boards. Attach the door using hinges and a latch. Add the roof, you can use a variety of materials for the roof, such as plywood, shingles, or even tar paper. Paint or seal the hutch, optional, this will help to protect the wood from the elements. 21. Create a bottle wall walls made out of parts of glass bottles can be a beautiful and artistic addition to your home. Choose bottles in various colors and sizes to create a unique pattern. 22. Build a beehive. The importance of honeybees to our food cycle cannot be understated, and raising bees for their honey could be a great project, 
especially for homesteaders and preppers. 23. Construct a storage shed most of us could use some extra storage for our garden or animal. Final thoughts. Now that you've looked at our project ideas, maybe you have some more of your own. And remember, you don't have to go it alone. You can get the whole family involved in these jobs. You will be spending time with your children as well as teaching them valuable skills. As we wrap up today's video, if you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future, let us know in the comment section below. We love to get video ideas from the community. And let us know what you think of today's video as well. We always appreciate input. Be sure to like today's video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about prepping in general. And lastly we have put some links to some prepper supplies that you might want to check out in the description below. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.